Hey everybody, back for another video and uh, put together a couple of videos I took out on a job when I found a cracked heat exchanger. I uh, wanted to share this with you, so um, the first part of this video is going to be where we're getting into the uh, actual first firing of the, of the unit and what you might see uh, for symptoms on something like this. And then the second part is uh, just opening up the plenum and looking down at the heat exchanger from the top, so let's take a look. Okay, so you'll notice on the fourth uh, burner to the right there, you'll see a dark spot. That's because uh, the metal's been damaged from the heat, which you will see here in just a second. There we go. The fan just came on, overpowered the pressure inside that heat exchanger cell, and the uh, it's forcing the flames out the front. This is called flame rollout. This is a pretty good example of what a flame rollout is. Now in newer furnaces it would shut itself down because there's temperature switches, uh, typically a manual reset uh, switch right here in this area that would sense this. This is an older furnace, probably about 20-25 years old. Did not have that safety equipment on it. <clears throat> so what we're doing here is uh, getting in and uh, oops, that's pretty loud. I'm going to try to adjust that. What we're doing here is just getting into the top of the plenum, uh, breaking loose the uh, S-cleats. There, I've got the bottom S-cleat ripped open. I couldn't do it with both hands, or one hand and hold the camera too, so set it down, open it up. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm just trying to get the camera located uh, or positioned in a manner uh, where I can see the crack, uh, get the camera and the light and everything lined up. And this is the uh, in between the two cells where the biggest crack was. And that's, uh, I believe, the fourth cell over. There it is right there. You see that dark line? That's a crack right inside the heat exchanger. Sorry about the camera work. And the camera's kind of trying to search. It's super dark in this area. And, and, uh, all right, there's a good shot of that crack. And here in a second, there'll be one more good shot of it. So. So that's what a crack's going to look like uh, when you're searching for this. And this is a way to get in to the top of a furnace so you can inspect a heat exchanger without really doing much damage because you can snap that plenum back together um, you know, if you don't happen to find a, a crack. However, if you do have an air conditioning coil in the way, uh, it is going to make it a little more difficult. There's a good shot at that crack in the heat exchanger. So if you got an A-coil, uh, that is going to be in your way. But... Uh, all right, well, that's about it. All right, so that's a, a pretty good example of a cracked heat exchanger and how to get in there, what to look for, some symptoms. Um, unfortunately, in this particular uh, uh, service call, it was initially a no heat call. Uh, the control board was bad, so before I could even witness this event, I had to install a new control board, um, which ultimately cost the customer about $120. Um, but we worked with them and uh, pretty much tried to eat the cost of uh, any materials that were you know, used because we had to swap out the furnace. So um, we got these guys up and running uh, with a new furnace and uh, now they're safe. So anytime you're doing a service call, you want to be mindful of those black spots like this. You want to be mindful of the age of the furnace and experience and time is eventually going to give you um, the know-how to, to, to know which furnaces are going to be cracked, where to look, um, and always recommend a uh, carbon monoxide detector. So uh, that's about it on this video. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, like, make a comment, ask if you have any questions. Um, stay tuned. There's lots more HVAC videos to come.